What's going on, everybody? This is your man, Lucky. I'm back with another one, guys. I'm going to get straight to the point, fellas. Stop letting women manipulate you. Stop it. Put an end to it. It's over. It's done with. Guys, listen, let me tell you something, man. If you're in a relationship where you're being manipulated, you're in bad shape. Get out now. Listen, don't ever let women manipulate you. Guys, I, I just I just realized, right, there are four stages of manipulation. And when you listen, I'm going to give you the four stages of manipulation. But when you listen to the stages of, of, of manipulation, it will sound exactly like how a relationship starts. I'm going to get straight to it, guys. So the four stages of manipulation. First is the targeting stage, right? The targeting stage of manipulation. So that's basically when you're being targeted by a woman. Like she sees you, you see her, whatever. You're interested in her. So boom, she's like, okay, yeah, I could get this guy. You understand what I'm saying? That's the targeting phase, which is like in the beginning, when you meet a woman, you exchange information, get her number, whatever, stuff like that, right? The second stage of manipulation, guys, is the friendship forming stage, right? So when it comes to relationships, that's like the dating stage, right? You're getting to know one another, hanging out, spending time, you know, getting to get, it, get getting to get a feel for one another and all of that, right? That's the second stage in the manipulation process, the four stage process of manipulation, guys. Next, after the friendship forming stage is the loving relationship stage. This is crazy. That's like once you've been dating someone, now you're getting you get into a relationship. You understand what I'm saying? You've gotten to know one another and it's like, yeah, okay, let's get into a relationship. And you have like a, um, you know, maybe an exclusive relationship or, you know, maybe it's not exclusive, but it's established that y'all are in a relationship, right? That's the third stage in the manipulation process. And last but not least, the fourth, fourth stage is the abusive stage, right? That's when you all in, you all in with that woman. And that's when the abuse starts to happen. And when I'm saying abuse, I'm not necessarily referring to physical abuse, like they putting hands on you and stuff like that. I'm talking about the part where what manip what manipulation actually is. And that's when it's when someone is attacking your mental and your emotional sides. OK, your mental and your emotional sides to get what they want. That's basically what manipulation is, guys. You have to understand that when someone is using your mental and your emotion to get out of you what they want, you are being manipulated, guys. If that's what you see your relationship as, guys, you're being manipulated. Right. So I'm going to get straight into it, guys. Listen, the reasons why we allow ourselves to be manipulated and the reason why I say we, because I'm sure there's been a point in my life in a relationship that I've probably been manipulated. I'm sure. Not, not no time recent, but in the past, you know what I'm saying? In my younger day, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I, I could look at some situations and I was like, yeah, I was being used. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was being used. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. I live and I learn. And that's why I do these videos to help you guys, you know what I'm saying? Get to see different things. And, you know, I, I put it out in my perspective and maybe you can look and see like, wow, OK, you know what? Maybe that is my situation. All right. So let me get right into it, guys. Um, First and foremost, man, the number one reason why we allow ourselves to be manipulated when we in relationships is because we have a lot. We have we have basically pedestalized that woman that we're with. We pedestalized her. We put her before us. You know what I'm saying? When you pedestalize somebody, that's what you're doing. You, you're putting them up. You're putting them up on a pedestal, guys. You're putting them before you. And so what happens is the reason why you pedestalize a woman or you worship a woman is because you just really don't value yourself. You don't value yourself. Um, or or like sometimes it'd be a fear of rejection or whatever it is. You just feel like you're not really worthy of that woman. And so Whenever that woman has demands or needs or this or that or whatever, you feel like you have to meet those demands. You have to meet those needs. You have to do whatever it is that she says that she wants done. Now, you know, in a relationship, guys, there is um, like compromise. And, you know, OK, I get that. You know what I'm saying? You, you got but you got to you got to give a little to get a little. 
if you're always on the giving side and you're never on the getting side, you're always on the giving side and you're never on the getting side, you being manipulated. You got that woman on a pedestal and you just going for whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Why? Might be because she's giving you that apple pie. Now, if you getting something for it, man, I'll probably do a whole nother video about that. But I'm just going to say this, man. If you're not getting in return for what you're giving, Guys, you're probably being manipulated and you want to take a good look at that situation. Next, guys, a reason why we allow ourselves to be manipulated by women is a scarcity mindset, guys. You're just scarcity mindset. Your mind ain't right, man. Like I touched on a little bit, fear of rejection, man, low self-esteem, lack of confidence. You understand what I'm saying? Guys, you got to get out of the scarcity mindset, man. Scarcity mindset is the worst mindset to have. You will never, never, never get from point a to point b with a scarcity mindset guys you gotta be able to beat this scarcity mindset scarcity mindset will allow you to be manipulated see in a scarcity mindset guys you're gonna feel like you have to do all of these things for this woman because if you don't do it she's gonna leave you know what i'm saying if you, if you don't do it somebody else will y'all ever heard that before <laughs> if you don't do it somebody else will you ever heard that before man listen if a woman tell you that, man, you got to get out of there. I'm telling you, it's like a form of manipulation to try to scare you to get you to do something that you would otherwise not do. It's manipulation, guys. Stop letting women manipulate you. Next, guys, just simply being a nice guy, being a people pleaser. You can easily get manipulated simply because people are going to come to you because they know that you are going to do whatever it is that they ask of you, right? And then people begin to use you. Oh, I've been I've I've been that nice guy before. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I've always been kind of like a jack of all trades. You know what I'm saying? I know a little bit about a lot of bit. You know what I'm saying? I know a little bit about everything. So whenever somebody needs help with something, oh, Lucky knows how to do this. Oh, Lucky knows how to do that. So on the inside, I felt good. Like, yeah, you know, I know how to do this. I can do that. I can do that and blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, man. I'm realizing that I'm getting used. I'm Mr. Nice Guy because when I turn around and I need something and I ask somebody for something and they're like, oh, man, I can't help you with that or I can't help you this. And it's something that's within their reach. I'm like, yo, hold on. I done did 10, 15 different things for you. And now when I ask you to do something for me, I can't get it. I ask you for one thing, one thing. I've done 100 things for you. I ask you for one thing and I can't get that. Guys, I'm telling you. If you're in a relationship where you're always giving and you're not getting, guys, you're being manipulated. It's a scarcity mindset. You are scared that when you stop giving, you are scared when you stop giving. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That that situation is going to be over. It's a scarcity mindset, man. You don't have to stay in that situation, man. Get out. It's a scarcity mindset, man. You got low self-esteem, lack of confidence. Nah, get out of there. Build your build your build your mindset up, man. Get out of scarcity mindset, man. Get an abundant mindset. Okay. Next, guys, man. Um, like I said a little bit, a relationship, it should be give and take. Okay. Give and take, man. It got it got it has it has to be some type of balance. If there's no type of balance, guys, you're being manipulated. That's it. If you always giving and you're not getting, you're being manipulated and you gotta get out of that. Guys, I'm just telling you, it's not good, right? Next, guys, another reason why we allow ourselves to be um, uh, manipulated, right? Um, I talked a little bit about scarcity mindset. Guys, masculine. Guys, you have to stay within your masculine energy, guys. It is very, very easy when you're in a relationship to kind of slip out of that. You understand what I'm saying? You stop doing things like going to the gym. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you stop working out. You're not, your physique ain't, you know, what it, what, what it used to be. You stop hanging out with your with your friends, man, your homeboys, man. You stop being around other masculine men, you know what I'm saying? And you slowly start slipping out of that. You're spending a lot of time with your lady. You're spending a lot of time in the house, you know what I'm saying? Doing chores or whatever stuff like that, man. And you slip out of that masculine frame, you know what I'm saying? And you become a lot more passive, so to speak. You understand what I'm saying? It's very, very easy to get manipulated, man, when you have like that more, more passive side of you. 
is 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 in the forefront, guys. You got to stand up. You got to get back in that masculine frame, get back in that masculine energy. I did a video about that. You know what I'm saying? You're in a relationship or you're living with a woman or whatever the case may be. How? It's, it's kind of easy to slip out of that masculine mindset. You understand what I'm saying? It's easy to slip out of that masculine energy when you're in a relationship with a woman or especially when you live with a woman, guys. So listen, guys, if you're in a relationship and you're being manipulated or anything that I just said in this video makes you feel like, okay, man, that could be me. I could be getting manipulated. Man, sit down and take a good look at that relationship. Take a good look at that situation, man, and you got to, you got to turn it around. Stop being manipulated, man. I'm telling you, manipulation is an attack on your mental and your emotional side, man, so that people can get what it is that they need from you, period. No difference than you got a job, man. Your job requires you to do A, B, C, and X, Y, Z, but your boss keeps coming to you. Hey, I need you to do this. Hey, I need you to do that. And that's not within the scope of your job. You know what I'm saying? But your boss is trying to use the power over you. You know what I'm saying? To get you to do something that's not your job. Your boss is manipulating you, man. That's just what it is, man. That's just what it is. And you have, if you have a scarcity mindset and you feel like, oh, well, he's the boss. I got to do whatever the boss say, even though it's not within the scope of my job. But, hey, if I don't do this, I could lose my job. Now, I ain't saying guys go out there and lose your job. You know what I'm saying? I'm simply saying if that's your situation at work, you're being manipulated, guys. Okay? Guys, stop letting women manipulate you. Stand up and be a man. Say no. <laughs> hey, man, I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Y'all be good.